what I know how to recognize is sort of morphism. You know, I sort of the 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 way it looks grossly from the outside, the mm -hmm. way that the distribution is different. When I was given the concept of lipedema, then I could actually go back and do the examinations and and really understand that fluid was being felt in a space that I had not previously appreciated, and I could I could almost I I could feel it where I had not felt it before. So you're up against a lot of things here, poor training poor conceptual understanding of what the lymph system is. It doesn't fit into pathophysiologic models easily. It isn't something that you could say, this is a little extension of something you already know. It's a long journey because weight is difficult. And that what is going on with each individual is not all one thing. You know, what is going on with them spiritually, psychologically, um, culturally, um, what is going on with them hormonally. People who are overweight feel b very badly about themselves. And it, it, it's obviously in the way that they've been treated and the way that they've been marginalized, you know, from major parts of the, of, of the interactions of this culture. You know, and, and so that that's almost, that's another thing that needs to be directly dealt with and, and solved. He cares deeply, um, just, you know, it's, it's not just a one problem issue that patients have when they come in, um, you know, and it's, that's just with, with anybody who goes to the doctors and Dr. Carmody takes his time. I remember several years ago, because <laughs> Dr. Carmody takes a long time with his patients, I asked him, I said, why do you, why are you in there for so long, you know, and he said, I don't take care of my patients in the time that I'm given. You can't, you cannot take care of somebody within 15 minutes. It's just impossible. So whether it be an hour, two hours with a patient, that's with every patient. I think that the 15 minute problem is, is one of the big problems. So if you are given a task to do that in a 15 minute frame, then you naturally are going to choose to honor some of the information given to you and then to discard. And the problem with the 15 minute frame that, that people are working in is that the amount that they have to discard is a very high level, high amount. So that the, the, the amount that they're allowed to entertain is, is small and hopefully it's well chosen, but it might not be. So all the, all the, the, the essence of what the problem is for the patient may have been left it discarded rather than included in sort of the considerations. So my, my idea about this would be that it's a systems problem. Because I think that if I give people 30 minutes, they'll do something different in 30 minutes that they would not have done in 15. So I, you can't say that it's that alone, you know, but that is one of the problems. So we have to create a system that allows people to be human beings to each other. And, and what I bring is I bring, you know, a body of knowledge to be applied to your particular situation. Um, and uh, I, I, I also bring my, my way of thinking and I need to incorporate your way of thinking. So I have a certain, you have a language and my misfortune is I have to take your language and I have to actually translate it into a language that I know so that I could actually solve your problem in this language. And maybe the solution is wrong, but I can solve it and then I can give it back to you and I can give it back to you in a way that's in your language. He loves what he does, loves being a physician, loves taking care of people. Um, you know, I've, he, I've learned so much from him that, you know, I do the same thing. You know, you, it's not just a high and by to your patients. It's, you learn more about them if you pay attention and you care about them. You always start from where you are. Um, you always start from where each of you are. So that, that's both the patient as well as the practitioner. And I really feel that one, one clue that was given to me early on was uh, from Beth Laum, Dr. Beth Laum. Um, who actually gave me this model where she said that I have to clear my mind of the moment just before so that I can actually 
encounter the patient. And so what she would do, she told me, she would, she would go to the door of the room and she would pause and, uh, with her hand on the door and um, clear her mind actively and open her mind to the person that was there and to actually make sure that there's eye contact and say as little as possible and listen as much as you can. So that's kind of the um, sort of the advice and to sort of pull that off with different patients in different times is different from person to person as the requirements are different for each person and they really want you to be somebody that understands them. So, um, uh, so that was the second thing, is to actually open yourself up and to be mindful and present. Uh, and that is not something natural. It's something that you sort of, I, I get the opportunity to practice every day. So, um, and, and that's how you become better, by, by mindfully practicing.